Hi, welcome for another day of technical analysis where everybody makes money. Wait for our entry, stop loss, and take profit for today's coin. I hope all is well with you and with your whole family. Okay, so let's check the coin we are looking at CRO. So by the way, yesterday uh, we again traded with uh, Yulian. You see the the QR here and you can trade you can copy trade my trades okay so we made at least 85 percent okay 85 percent profit so i am a copy trader in this account i have 52 followers trading with me okay so this is uh i have 83.33 percent win rate so if you want to make money with me you can create an account by 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 checking the qr code okay so let's get tar started so cro what do we have here for our weekly ah uh, it's 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 new okay and it's in the bottom okay so let's check our daily time frame are we seeing a potential breakout from the trend line? So if we look at the trend line, we have seen a breakout. And we have seen a good support here. Okay. Let's say support that we have here. Okay. And for our... For our time frame... Let's check our 4 hour time frame. So our 4 hour time frame. You see here. Let's see. Let's pull from top. To bottom. Okay. We are consolidating in this area. Okay. So what do we see here? You can see an M pattern m pattern okay so it if if this m pattern breaks from top to bottom and then from to the breakout point here if that happens our take profit will be 47535 okay so let's check with the volume it's still going down so for our volume from here to here our volume is from here here so there is no power anymore for this downside okay there is no volume as our awesome oscillator is telling us so we can expect an upside okay so we can see a resistance here okay there is a resistance if we pull it up it is here we can pull this resistance so we are in falling wedge and then consolidation so we are this is a consolidation phase so we can get a double bottom so from here bottom and then bottom then bounce back bounces okay so we can bounce here then here and here here and then break out okay so that is possible so let's pull our resistance level so if this is a breakout from falling wedge so our take profit if this breaks out here our take profit will be here okay six seven zero seven zero okay if this is going to take place okay for the falling wedge the breakout will be upside okay so let's check our ichimoku cloud we are still in the 
lower part of the cloud, meaning it's still uh, bearish. So once we try to cross it, we bounce back. Okay, let's delete. Trying to cross, the cloud is so powerful, it bounce back. Trying to cross the cloud here, trying to push and bounce back. Trying to push the cloud here and bounce again. Okay, so the cloud is a good picture for our support and resistance. So now, it can try again. And then once we cross, then we start a new trend. Okay, so that's how this uh, Ichimoku cloud works. For our EMA ribbon, so many resistance. We almost hit the last resistance but was not able to touch the second to the strongest resistance and then bounce back here we also stayed in the resistance okay just long week also here that's how it works okay so let's check the one hour time frame how we're going to trade this one okay so for our one hour time frame we can see we can see a massive right we can see a let's pull this one so we can see a breakout here we can see a breakout from the trend of downtrend and now we are starting a new trend but fell we crossed the, the cloud but we fell back again okay so that's what is currently happening so right now if if we have this bump and run pattern, bump and then run and then break out. So our take profit can be like this. If we break the bump and run here. Okay. So if we break. So if you notice, uh, the breakout was cut short because of the strong resistance here okay so now it's going it's when it went down again so how do we trade this one okay let's delete again how are we going to trade this one if we are going to trade this to the ups to the downside from bottom to top our take profit will be in 1.618 Six one eight. Okay, the fourth nine eight five five. This can be the short. The, our first take profit will be here. If we wait for the retracement, it will it will retrace here. If it happens, you can buy here. Okay, for Fibonacci retracement, the perfect area to buy is the point five. Okay, and usually the stop loss is here. Because when the stop loss is touched, it means it's a new trend. Okay? So, this is for the short. And you take profit from this one and this one. The 52575 and 49855. That's a take profit. If we trade it for long, If you see, it almost touched the, it almost touched the red line. It touched it, but not crossed. So meaning it still has the power to have a perfect retracement. Okay? So if this takes place, if the Bitcoin goes up, then this coin will follow the CRO. Meaning... If you can buy here, then it's a good place to buy. Okay? 
and then it's a good place to buy and you can place your stop loss way below so it's still closer okay and then your take profit can be in every resistance okay and then once up you touch the resistance it bounces okay so resistance bounce sell sell and then bounce buy and then test and then another one sell and bounce and then just like that you always pull out your fibonacci retracement for the buy and sell part okay and then our target will be 1.618 okay that can be our target so it can be a huge w pattern here one two that can be our w pattern and if that happens we can put out the breakout for our w pattern uh, w pattern breakout here so it can surpass our our strong resistance and we check out here 0.62310 okay if we break and form this w pattern okay so we can make money from this pattern okay so all the best let us make money in cro cheers